This is a little video just to go how to set up the swash mix on a Belt CP helicopter, what it is, how you use it, and how it's different from servo direction. Okay, so let's talk about first things first. Whenever you're doing anything with a model helicopter, ideally you should uh, take the head off for this, but I've got my helicopter all built up and I'm not going to do that. The very least you should do is actually unplug your motor so that this can't kick into life as you're playing with the swash mixes and the throttle. The first thing we'll cover before we talk about swash mixes is servo direction. That's the direction that these links move in in relation to the controls from the transmitter. Now, when you're setting up a model from new, the simplest way to set this up is just to increase and decrease the throttle, and you'll see here that although two of the servos on this side of the model are moving down, the other one's actually moving up, so the servo isn't rising and falling parallel. So that means that that servo on the far side is uh, is wrong. So we need to go into the reversing menu in the uh, in the transmitter. So if I go into the reversing menu and change that over for that channel, that then becomes the right way round. And now, as I increase and decrease the throttle, the swash moves in the same direction. With three servos, you'll almost always find that when you put the model together, that one of the servos is moving out of time with the other two. The first thing you need to do before you go into swash mixes is just reverse the channel for that servo that isn't behaving properly, and then once the swash is going up or down as level, then you're in a good place to move into swash mixes. Here's a short picture of how you connect the, uh, the servos to the receiver just so you can have something that's similar to my setup here. This isn't the, the, the way you do it for every model, but it will give you an idea of what plugs into where. The next thing we'll talk about is swash mixes. First of all, what are they? Well, swash mixes are the clever part inside the transmitter that makes all of these three links at 120 degrees operate the swash plate in three dimensions. So that's not only tilting backwards and forwards, tilting side to side, but also moving up and down. Now, if you think about it, as you increase the throttle, that changes the pitch, so that moves the swash plate up. If you tilt the cyclic forward, that means that this servo has to go down, these two servos at the back have to go up. If you want to turn to the left, then this ser servo has to go down and this servo has to go up. So if you think about all of those three things, the transmitter is quite clever and what it does is it mixes those three control inputs, throttle and the two elevator and um, aileron uh, pitch mixes, puts them all together so it can figure out what the position of these three servos should be so that the swash plate is not only at the right tilt for the direction you want to fly in, but also at the right height for the pitch that you want on the blades. And that's really important. So just to reiterate, that the swash mixes are different from servo uh, direction. Servo direction just changes the direction of one servo. Swash mix changes the way that all three of them behave together in a very specific way. So hopefully that's made it a little bit clearer before we go on to the next part. So the next thing to do is to actually look at how swash mixes work. If I increase the throttle, the swash plate rises. If I decrease the throttle, the swash plate falls. That's how it should be. Now, if when you come to set up your swash mix, you find that that's reverse, so as you increase the throttle, the swash plate drops, and as you decrease the throttle, the swash plate increases, then don't worry, all that means is that the swash mix is reversed. Now when you look at um, a swash mix on a radio, there are two parts to every swash mix. One is whether it's plus or minus, and that affects the direction of the swash mix, and the second is the number, and that is how much swash mix is there. So for example, if my swashes operate the wrong way around, so as I increase the throttle it goes down, and as I um, decrease the throttle it goes up, all I need to do is go into the menu 
and to change it from a positive to a negative or a negative to a positive on the pitch servo mix because remember this is the pitch going up and down and that will change the direction for the movement and then when I increase the throttle it goes up and I decrease the throttle it goes down okay. so that's the pitch mix pitch mix controls the height of the swash and the way it moves up and down in relation to the throttle the other two pitch mixes that you'll find inside your radio are aileron and elevator elevator control how the swash plate moves from front to back and if you find that the swash plate isn't moving in the right direction so ideally as you push your stick forward or up towards the top of the radio the swash plate should dip at the front if it doesn't do that then again change the polarity of the elevator pitch mix uh, sorry the elevator mix and that will then change the way that the swash plate moves the other pitch in there is aileron and that tells you how the side to side movement works and again the swash plate lowest part should always, always be where the stick is on the transmitter so as you push the stick right on the cyclic the swash should tilt right or in this case away from us because we're looking at it from the uh, right hand side and if that isn't working properly then go into your swash mixes and change the aileron mix from plus to minus or minus to plus basically change it to the other one that means that then your directions work and forwards to backwards works okay side to side works okay and up and down works okay once you've got all that working then the only other thing to think about is the actual value of those pitch mixes the higher the value the more travel so in this model that's how much movement I've got in the pitch mix if I wanted more pitch on the blades maximum and minimum I would increase that number now at the moment on a DX7 radio that I have on this 450 class helicopter it's actually um, an eSky belt CP about 60 percent gives me about plus and minus nine degrees which is about all that this head can handle if I wanted more pitch on the blades then I would increase that number from plus 60 which it is now to plus 65 or plus 70 and I'd use a pitch gauge blade um, gauge measuring device on the blades to find out how much pitch I was getting similarly on the front to front and side to side I would also by increasing the pitch mix value increase the movement or the amount of travel that I've got you want probably seven or eight degrees if you're a beginner on the swash mix just making sure that that moves okay and on again on my uh, model here that's about 60 and 60 again so I've got plus 60 and plus 60 actually work with this model fine to give me a nice crisp cyclic control without making it too crazy so in summary always make sure that the motors unplugged for safety first thing to do when you're setting up a new model is increase the throttle and watch the swash plate movement if it isn't level you'll notice that one of the servos will be moving um, in the opposite direction to the other two swap the channel direction of that individual servo to make sure that the swash plate rises and falls level uh, don't worry about the fact if it's moving down when you put the throttle up just worry about making that swash plate rise and fall levelly the next step then is to use your swash mixes to get the swash plate rising for the pitch mix up and down and then use the elevator mix to get the swash plate tilting in the right direction backwards and forwards and the aileron mix to have it tilting in the right direction side to side and if you want more movement you increase the value of the swash mix if you want less movement obviously decrease it and if it's moving in the wrong direction you just change the polarity of the mix hopefully that makes sense if you have any questions put a comment and I'll answer them as best I can thanks for watching